So I'm going to blow your mind for all of the Google Meet users out there. So if you are used to using Google Meet and it looks something like this, where you have a window here and you have these little mini windows on here, but you see all these cool video chats going on using um, apps like Zoom that give you this grid kind of interface. Uh, there is a way to put that grid interface in Google Meet. Um, so two rules. Number one, have to use Chrome. No options. Have to use Chrome. Number two, there is a link that I will provide in the comments down here uh, that gives a, uh, an extension from the Chrome Web Store. It's free that you can download and install. And when you do that, it will turn your Google Meets into that grid view. So I have a link to the extension here. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to add that to Chrome. So it says, do you want to add this? I say, yes, add it. It's going to ask for permission. And it tells me, okay, it is done. There is a little icon up here in the corner. I have dark mode turned on, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, but here's what it does. So once I have it installed, I simply have to hang up and then rejoin that chat. And then once I have hung up and rejoined, now you'll see this grid button right here. Turn off my mic. And with that grid button, uh, I can tap on this and this will turn my uh, listeners into a grid. So no matter how many people are participating, everyone will show up in a grid. So my family has so graciously agreed to be part of this uh, unbeknownst to them. So I can now choose uh, to only show participants with video. This one does not have video, so I could have uh, that one turn off if I wanted to. Uh, I could also choose to highlight the speakers um, and I can choose to include myself in that grid if I want. So what that does is if I include myself in the grid, you'll see here I am right here. And if I have highlight speakers turned on and let me turn my mic, let me turn my mic off, uh, anytime I'm talking, it will highlight uh, with a box to show me this is the person doing the talking. I'm going to turn my mic off so uh, I don't get feedback here. But um, it's a much more uh, uniform view of everything that's going on here at one time. And it will automatically adjust based on how many people you have chatting at once. Um, so if I have 20 people in here, there's going to be 20 tiny boxes. If I have five, there's going to be five uh, and so on. I can still go to any one of these if I want and I can pin them which will make them uh, much larger so I can see what they, uh, they have going on. And I still have the rest of my tabs or the rest of my windows still show up on my screen. So that is how you can get uh, grid view in Google Meet. Again, you must use Chrome and you have to install this free extension called Google Meet Grid View, which gives you that, uh, that awesome ability. It is important to point out that if I do a recording, uh, that recording will not show the grid view. It just shows the person who is talking. Um, and on the student side, if they are using um, iPads, they will not see a uh, grid view. Only uh, computers using the Chrome browser with the plugin installed have the ability to see the uh, grid view. Uh, that is actually a security setting in Google Meet uh, designed to protect student privacy uh, to keep them from seeing other kids uh, in their rooms unless they are the ones talking um, and things like that. So that is grid view in Google Meet.